You're watching News 8 Now. I'm Tracy Sable. And I'm Steve Minnick. The Attorney General's Office now says the owners of Getterman's Appliance plan to file for bankruptcy. Customers who bought appliances at the stores in both Bath and Lewiston and did not receive them may not get a full refund. The Attorney General's Office says you must file a claim through state bankruptcy court. And an update now. Falmouth police arrest a contractor already barred from doing business in Massachusetts because of fraud. Police say Richard Myers took upfront deposits for chimney work and never followed through. Myers' businesses were Atlantica Restorations Company and Beacon Light Chimneys. He is the target of numerous scam investigations throughout the state. A campaign kickoff for supporters of ballot question five. That question asked voters to approve a $3 million bond to modernize and expound, expand Mount Desert Island Biological Laboratory. The bond would have matching funds of $5,700,000 from both the public and the private sectors. Supporters say it would attract biotech jobs with tissue regeneration and other cutting edge health research. I have an uncle, a great uncle, that uh, is one of the most talented men I know. But even before I was born, he was in a logging accident and uh, lost the use of his legs. For me, to think about what they're doing uh, up in Mount Desert, to help someone like my uncle, uh, there's no way that you can't support a bond like this. All right, now there is no organized opposition to question five. Thanks for joining us here on News 8 Now. I'm Tracy Sable. And I'm Steve Minnick. Make sure to check back to WMTW.com and our mobile app for the top news and sports stories and weather anytime.